Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We got an award-winning dish. I mean, you were talking about this is shrimp Madagascar. You got no medal. You got a medal. I did. I did get culinary. a medal for this. I guess I caught them sleeping. <laughs> no, no. I can't wait to eat it, bro. I mean, I, I tasted some of the, the marinade. The shrimp look beautiful. Now, we're going to put the portobellas on first. Yeah, they're going to take actually a little bit longer to cook than the shrimp. So okay. we're going to give them a head start. And like I mentioned earlier, we robbed some of our marinade from our shrimp that we're going to use to season and and keep our portobellas from, from sticking. So you just so want to kind of just We're going to do down. one side. We're going to lay them down with the with the top down first. Right. Then we're going to put a little bit inside and let that sink. Okay. Okay. That's so, good. Like that. Everybody in the pool. That's Let's right. Let's go right to the Cajun okay. grill. Okay. That's the sound you want to hear. You want to hear that That's sear. what you want to hear. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's searing. Now that pan we had in there, uh -huh. it's been on that it's been on that grill a while. You said you wanted to get it hot. What if it's too hot? If it's too hot, I'm should glad, I, you, I'm glad we, you mentioned that. You pull it off the grill? You can pull it off, and, and if you do that, what will happen is you have to wait for it to cool down. Right. Down. You got a better you, way? There's a better way. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's drinking a little water. Don't do this with alcohol. Yeah. I just, I'm going to drop it 100 degrees right there. Oh, really? Yeah. 100 degrees. Right, right off the bat. So now I don't have to worry about my skillet being too hot and... I can introduce a human environment to cook the rest of my food in, right. and it's going to evaporate in no time. And my grill, my skillet's going to be ready to cook whatever so I want. So whether you were doing this on a gas grill or a that charcoal matter. grill, it's going to drop it down. It's going to drop it down. Because yeah, I've done that before. I've, I've actually put my skillet on. I'm talking to people. You kind of lose track of time. Sure. And then you go to use it, and it's like, oh, man, it's going to be too hot. I it's wanna, blazing. And That's I right. want to pull it off, but now I don't have to. Now you don't have to. A little bit it. of water, and we're good to go. And the water's going to evaporate. It's not going to affect the flavor of our dish at all. Okay, so what are we doing next? All right, next. <clears throat> we can chop up. We're going to be making a sauce in a little bit. We right. get, let me get rid of that for you. Okay, get rid of that. We got some, like you we said, got some, cilantro. We got some cilantro and some parsley. We're going to cut up a little bit of that, some uh, lemons and limes to go in our sauce, right? Okay. So you just want to half them. Right. And we're going to juice them. We're going to put the juice right in the sauce. Okay, and that's going on that skillet. That's going to go on that skillet. Okay. And this is kind of like a... a like a sauce that you said cream. There's it's a cre it's a cream based sauce. Hey Kurt, you know I, I love using whipping cream. I put that in my mock shoe. People freak out on that's that. Right. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. They don't call it whipping cream for nothing. Well, it's it's like salty and it's sweet, you know, and it's, and it's like, rich and it's rich and it's so, rich. So it's very interesting. And we like we like we like our foods rich. Rich tastes good. Oh yeah. Okay. Now this is that cilantro. This is cilantro. I this can is, smell it. You can smell it. This is our this is our lat our Latin influence. Our Mediterranean influence, this is what we want. You don't have, it doesn't have to be super fine. You ever been in your backyard and you're talking to somebody and a stink bug, stink bug flies into your mouth? Yep. It kind of, it's, it, it tastes like a stink bug <coughs> smell. On the surface, you're right. Right. And, and you when you, it, when that's prominent, that right. means the cilantro is old. Okay. Yeah, because this, it's not as sharp as some of the that's ones right. that tasted That before. means, and when cilantro makes seed, right. they call it coriander. Oh, really? That's where that comes from? That's right. Hey, he, he's so smart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the parsley. Curly leaf parsley. You could use Italian flat leaf parsley if you want. You use whatever you want. You don't have to use parsley if you don't want. Right. When you cook in this, this is your dish. Well, you see, that's what I keep telling people. They say, man, you know, you, you, you're the guru. No, I'm not a guru. Let me tell you something. I learn from people. People learn from me, and that's what I think, that's what the beautiful thing about grilling or barbecuing is. Am I wrong? I mean, we like to trade. Share, it's sharing ideas. We like to trade. Now, you go fishing <laughs> with somebody, they're going to be tying their lure on, like they ain't going to show you that. <laughs> I mean, man, come on. We're barbecuing, people freely are like, man, that's awesome. How'd you do that? That's right. And, and, and you just share information. That's all you're doing is sharing information. We're going to find better ways to do things. Maybe you do something, well, I don't care for it too much. Yeah. So guess what? I'm not going to do it again. Right. But maybe you do something, man, that looks pretty good, tastes real good too. Right. I'm going to do that. Or right. maybe I'll incorporate it in something I already do. Right. And just roll it into and another just, dish. That's right. You okay. Know? So you want to jump on this sauce? Yes. Uh, Let's get the sauce, sauce going. Okay. So we got the mushrooms on there. The mushrooms are on there. They look great. No, they're smelling better. <laughs> the skillet <laughs> is, uh, there's just a hint of water left in it. We're not going to worry about that. Okay. We're going to go straight with our cream. Now, you know, I can lift my coat tray up a little bit if we want to lift it up, but I think I like that, that, <coughs> that intensity. Well, that's one of the benefits of this grill. 
the Cajun grill yeah. in an instant. Yeah, you can we, could, we could bring it up to, to please stop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Over a thousand degrees. Or you can like turn your simmer down on your stove. We could uh, you do like they say, put it on drink. Put it on drink. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I like y'all. I'm about to use some of your little phrases. I like all that. All so right. that's heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream, about half a cup. Half a cup, okay. And then you're gonna add the cilantro <laughs> and the parsley. We're gonna add the cilantro, the parsley. We're gonna add a. We're gonna add our toasted cumin. Mm -hmm. Also. Now whipping cream has a lot of water vapor, water in it. And, right. And you want to kind of cook that up and that thickens, or you want to kind of keep it kind of running. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna cheat just a little bit. Okay. okay. We're going to use a little cornstarch and water as a thickening agent. Thick it up so we okay? speed it up. And it's, well, not only that, it's going to also help us because the creams of today are what they call ultra pasteurized. You see it right on the cart. Right. <laughs> That's a, it, it keeps the bacteria out. Right. Makes it shelf life longer. But it also makes it more unstable. Uh -huh. So we got to be careful. If we cook it too much like this, it'll do what's called breaking. Uh -huh. The fat separates from the, li from the rest of the liquids. And you got yourself a bona fide mess. Oh, yeah. There ain't yeah. nothing you can do with it no more. You don't want that. So the cornstarch and water is going to be an emulsifier and a binding agent for Keeps us. Keeps everything together. We'll keep it all together. Man, I need to maybe start taking it by the teaspoon. Meek, I need something to keep me all together. <laughs> yeah. I look how pretty that is. That's right. Oh, yeah. All them mushrooms smell delicious. My wife loves that. Okay, so... So we're gonna add that ingredient. Little right corn, there. little cornstarch and water. And whenever you do this, you want to make sure you add cold water, and you want to make sure you stir, get all the cornstarch nice and smooth, because if it goes in in a lump, right, it's gonna stay in a lump. Oh really? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not good. It's not gonna cook out, but right. like this, it definitely will. Right. So about half a teaspoon is all we're gonna need. This will not thicken until it until the whole thing boils. Okay. And when it boils, and you can already see. As you move in the paddle, it's leaving a path. That means our sauce is thickening. Right. Look at that. See? You all see that? How pretty that is? So we're not going to waste any more time. OK. We're going to come right back. A little parsley. A little cilantro. And just keep kind of keep stirring it like that? Just like that. Little lime juice. Oh, man. This is... Oh, the smell. Ooh. Little lemon juice. Now, while that's happening, I want you to notice, just to your left, look at the edge of that mushroom. It's bubbling. Now, so what's happening? The water's steaming the out. The water's steaming out, our mushroom's cooking. It's just going to be about time to flip them, and when we flip them, we're going to put our shrimp on. Oh, 